What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to swing myself to the corner of the screen. Uh, because I, I published my uh, tutorial yesterday and one of my subscribers asked me how to uh, swing myself. So I think it's, the, it's not a, a, a good keyword to say swing myself, but it's actually how to use uh, your DSLR as a, web, as a webcam. So uh, actually this effect is very simple. So I, I will show you just in one minute or, or something like that. So uh, okay, so here's a, uh, my latest tutorial on uh, on my Vietnamese channel. Not this channel, I'm sorry. But uh, we have our main video, uh, my main video track is on top of the timeline and I have a screen recording uh, uh, down below and I also have my voiceover over here. So I have uh, one, two, three, uh, three different layers. So my top layer is my video, so that the video uh, with me talking in front of the camera. So uh, yes, it look like this. Uh, let's delete, delete the effect. Okay, so it cover the whole screen. Okay, and uh, so what I did, it's just very simple. I drop a, a, an image mask onto the um, onto this video and a border onto this video, and that's all. Okay, so let I uh, let me do it. For example, at this point, uh, at this point, I want to uh, go directly to the uh, to this corner. But uh, before that, I uh, go to effect, and then I go to included, and then I go to uh, utility. Okay, utility is very useful, and I drop an image mask on top of the video, no, directly to the video. Okay. And I also drop a border, a border directly onto the video. So by doing that, I create a border around my um, my shape, right? And I need to adjust the the image a little bit so uh, it uh, is in the center. So I, I double click on the video, then I find video tab. Now I scroll down and find the video effect. And then go to image mask. Yes. Okay. Then I scroll down a little, a little bit, and then I adjust the X X uh, ISO. Right here. I think it's okay. So with the borders, I even can change the color and the size of the border, but uh, never mind. I just want uh, white, so it's okay now. So I click OK to go back. And then, because at this point, uh, I have the effect, so I split it, split. And on this, uh, on this part, I still want my face cover the whole screen. So I just right click and delete effect. That's very simple, right? Delete effect. Okay, so now I'm cover the whole screen and going to the next part. I will go to. Okay, uh, the next thing I, I have to do is to click on that on the screen and then resize. Resize my video. So it places uh, at the corner of the screen to play as my webcam. So let's see the transition between. One and two, okay, yeah. So I'm speaking in front of the camera. Don't you do so, okay. That's it. So I just go to the corner of the screen. It's very simple. And once I, and any time I want uh, to bring me back to the to the screen to cover the whole screen, I just split. For example, at this position, I can split that video. Click here to split, and then I right click, delete effect. But uh, if I, I just want a, a small portion, I don't want the whole on uh, the whole video, so I will split here also, and then I delete the de effect on this part. Okay. So that's easy, right? 
but when I delete the uh, delete the effect, my audio will come back. So I have to mute the audio again. And if I I do the color correction, I have to uh, do it again. Uh, but uh, normally I do the color correction uh, at the final step uh, when finishing editing. So I finish editing. So that's how I I string myself or I use uh, the SLR camera uh, as a webcam because I think uh, my camera uh, video quality is better than a webcam. My webcam is very bad. Okay, so that's all about the, this short tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.